Hello there, folks. DJ Bergstar here, back with another tip of the day. I wouldn't really call this a tip. What I would call this is an explanation of why I use Ableton Live and why I think it's the best DAW out there and why I switched from using other DAWs to Ableton Live. In this session view window that Ableton Live presents you with when you first launch it is more like an instrument rather than a DAW. You can interact with it. You can play with it. You can feel your song as it's playing and change things around as if you were playing it yourself. It is so important to me. This video is very important to me. I really want to convey to you how capable and just how fun and how powerful using this session view window is. So let's look at the other window that Ableton has. And a lot of people are used to working with a timeline. And that's this is a standard sort of DAW view where you're working from left to right and you're either bringing your samples in or recording. And how would you really play with this or interact with this? Sure, you could maybe mute some things and solo some things as you're going, but nowhere near in the same way you can sort of play your machine and play with this in this session view and get great ideas for the way you want your song to go or your track. Um, on the fly, just messing around without having to record or commit to anything. You're just playing around. And let me show you what I mean. So what I've done here is I've thrown in just the minimum elements I would have in a song. And we're going to create a track out of these simple elements um, or at least get the foundation for my track. You see, what I'll do is in here is I'll play around and you'll see how I put it together to get the foundation of my song. And then once the foundation is done, then I'll switch over to the um, you know, regular arrangement view here and sort of put in the ear candy, move things around, maybe you you know, put in my automation and you know, sort of finish the track. But in this view, I'm going to play around and create my foundation. Let me show you what I'm doing here. So what I've thrown in here is I've got some percussion sample on this track. I've got a snare on this track and a kick drum on this track. And then on this track, I have a chord progression. And this is just in, I think, B minor and... Um, I've got just variations of staying in that key. And next to it, I have a bass line that accompanies this chord. So I would need to play this chord and this bass line at the same time in order for this to match up. Um, and then over here, I just have some person sample, um, just saying something fun. And over here is just a nice little impact. So just with these small little elements, I'm going to create a whole track on the fly as I play around with it. But first, I need to play around with it and see what I like and what I don't like. So let's just start playing. And this is what I mean. So I'm going to. Now, if you click all the way over here on these scenes on the right, it will play anything in that row. Right now, I haven't set up a lot of things in these rows. So we're just going to click on these individually at first. And when you click on one, it will wait until the next full bar to start playing it. So you don't have to click it and be exact. Um, you can actually change the settings if you're using this in a live setting where you, when you do click it, you want it to start immediately. But in this default view here, it will just wait for the next bar to start the next element that you've clicked on. Let's play around here. There's that. Okay, great. What's the snare sound like? All right, let's add that kick drum. Hmm, okay. Now, what was this chord? Hmm, okay. What was the next chord pattern? It's a 
a little thin. Let's add the bass line for the next one. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Let's see what this impact sounded like. I'll wait till that gets closer. Ooh, lovely. All right, so just with these elements, you see what I've got going on here. I can just start clicking around and hear what they sound like. If you click way over here to this, it'll stop all clips so you can get them uh, back to fresh. So what I want to do is I'm going to take these and sort of duplicate them by holding down option as I just drag it. Um, and so I'm going to build these drums that way. Let's just show what that sounds like. So if I hit this now on the right, this scene over here, I can see what the whole row sounds like together. Now as that's playing, maybe I'll make another one here so I can hear that with my chords. Nice. Now maybe on the next one, I don't want to have all of the drums. Um, maybe I just want the chords by themselves. Let's see what that sounds like. Maybe for the third one, I want to bring all the drums back. So we'll click on this over here. this coming on the next one. The next one maybe we'll have just the highs here and we've got this impact and we'll start with the first chord pattern. Maybe just the bass. So I'll get rid of this. Let's see what that sounds like. Play around again. I'll start from the top. Add that snare. Adding the kick. Next scene. All right. I think I want that to play twice. See, I'm listening, I'm hearing, I'm interacting. Okay, this one. I just want this to play once. Well, maybe twice. Let it go a little longer. All right, back to this third progression. Dance with me. Okay. Let's get this fourth one here. Or the next one. play this again. Are you ready? I'll play the whole thing. All right. So hopefully right now you can see that just playing around, moving things around, clicking on whatever I want, and if I go back to my timeline here, you can see nothing's been recorded, nothing's been done. We've just been playing around. We've just been looping these. These are all just looping and we're just having fun. Now I can go into my samples and my effects, um, you know, uh, whatever you have um, for your, you know, you come into the samples over here. And of course, Ableton Live has thousands of different samples. If I wanted to throw in the shaker or anything else, um, I can add things here and have tons of tracks and a melody line even or whatnot and I can do the same thing. I can click on it, see what it sounds like in different times and places and it's just a canvas. It's just an open-ended place to have fun and play around with your music before you commit to anything. So uh, obviously this isn't done or anything like that but to keep this video as short as possible. Let's just make a song out of this. So I'm gonna come over here and just turn them all off. And when you hit record, what it will do is it'll start recording on the timeline 
on this arrangement window anything you're doing over here in the clip or session view window. So, <clears throat> excuse me, let's um, record now. So whatever I do here is going to be recorded over there and give me the foundation of a track I want to start working on in the arrangement view when the time comes. So here we go. I'm going to hit record. And as long as you don't have this on loop, you got to be careful or it'll just keep looping this first four measures and it won't actually re <clears throat> record your whole song. So got to keep that off. Sometimes that's on. So, okay, here we go. So I'm going to hit record and I'm just going to start playing and here we go. All right. I can feel it. Yeah. After this sample. Are you ready? I'm getting ready. Here we go. I'm recording now. Maybe I want to take this out just for a second. Add silence too if you wanted a little break in your track and you knew you wanted that. So we'll click this to have a little measure of silence. Here we go. Because there's nothing on it. Okay, so I think we have the foundation of our song. I'm just going to let this play a little longer. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing in the arrangement view in a little while, but I just want some room to move things around. So I'm going to just let this play for a while. Okay, let's see what it did. So we'll go to the arrangement view. There we are. And boom, there's everything we did. And it's all came from just playing around over in the session view. So now it's recorded sort of the foundation of my song. Look, it's almost three minutes long. And, you know, from here I can, you know, stretch things out, move things around if I didn't do it just right or maybe I wanted it in a different spot of course I could start adding other things and of course this was a very simple example usually when I'm in my clip view here this will go down you know maybe 20 30 layers or scenes long where I've done a lot of different things and done a lot of playing around um, so this is a very simple example but let's play what I did so you can see um, now I can sit back and listen and um, kind of get a additional feel for how I want to actually make this song go. This is just sort of my first idea. So let's play it.
This is just the foundation. There's not really any breaks or sweeps or transitions, maybe just yet. Dance with me. But the foundation is here. So hopefully you're getting the idea of why I love Ableton Live and working in this clip view window or the session view window and just playing around at first and then sort of putting things in order. That was the little break I had in there. Maybe I would throw in some sort of transition or ramp or something there. Awesome. So how long did this take? Not long, but I challenge you to, in a regular DAW, in a timeline here, to be able to play around like that and throw together a song that quickly. So fun. So really, it's as if I'm using Ableton as my instrument because I'm not playing an instrument. And sometimes you get bored um, working in a timeline view all the time, um, you know, and trying to work this way and maybe soloing things and trying to move stuff around. I mean, it can be done, and I did it for many years. So. Um, if you're really used to working in a timeline, Ableton's very capable as well. Um, and I work in the timeline a lot, uh, probably spend more time actually in the timeline once I've got my foundation than I ever did in this clip view. But this clip view, um, is how I get started. It's how I get all my ideas and how I just think Ableton is so powerful and so fun to work with when you're able to. Um, work in this manner so hopefully I explain this correctly and you really get an understanding of the power of Ableton Live um, so thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys on the next one DJ Bergstar out